नमस्कार वेलकम टू ऑनेस्ट एस्ट्रोलॉजी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियोस व्हिच इज केतु इन द फोर्थ एंड राहु इन द टेंथ हाउस नाउ दिस इज टिपिकली कंसिडर्ड अ गुड कॉम्बिनेशन बिकॉज टेंथ बींग द उपचय हाउस राहू इज कंसिडर्ड वेरी गुड इन दिस हाउस एंड आई हैव सीन इन वेरिएबली अ लॉट ऑफ सक्सेसफुल पीपल हाउ एवर दिस सक्सेस कम्स एट अ कॉस्ट First of all, let's quickly understand what is फोर्थ uh, house and what is टेंथ house. So, फोर्थ house is the house of mother, family, home, vehicle, pleasures, property, and childhood. Now, Ketu usually destroys all this. Okay. So, people with a fourth house Ketu, I have seen them live away from their house, live away from their mother, and typically an unhappy childhood I've seen. Tenth is the house of career, business, people, relationship, employers, and authority. Rahu sitting here does very well because Rahu is the go-getter. Rahu is just in the right house, so Rahu is very happy placed here. And a person is a go-getter. A person is a workaholic. A person is uh, somebody who wants the world. Okay. so they are ruled by their obsessive ambition so 10th house becomes the core of their existence you know these are the guys who have unbridled ambition okay if they would have their way they would start working in their childhood and they will keep working till the very end of the life and they will definitely reach the top of their chosen profession however these people typically have a tough childhood and a bad family life look these guys were born to work okay they derive their inspiration and fire often from the tragedies of their childhood so these are the people who are you know self made came out of nothing but created an empire for himself created a lot of name for himself Now Ketu being a monk planet, Ketu would never let them be attached to their family. For them, family is is not even half that important. And during the first half of their lives, the family might not have been able to support them. And in the second half, they are so busy achieving their goals that they have little time for their family. So Ketu in the fourth ensures that family is almost always uh, missing. then i have seen these people with a lot of mummy issues the seeds of workaholism is sown during their childhood the mother or mother figure is often absent or distant and home is not a happy place home is a difficult place home is more of a jail which they have to break out of and in order to break out of that place they need to succeed in life and these guys are often uncomfortable in family relationships another problem with the fourth house ketu have seen problems with property and vehicles so whenever they buy property something goes wrong shani ketu in the fourth house should never buy property in their own name they can buy in the name of their spouse in the name of their children in the name of their parents even but uh, they should never buy property or vehicle in their own names i remember i used to have this uh, colleague of mine who had a fourth house ketu a very nice hard working lady but she would always have problems with her car she would always have problems with her vehicle she would always have problems with her transport you know uh, fourth house is not just your family property mother vehicle fourth house is also your happiness so their happiness gets terribly compromised but on the good side their workaholism and obsession to work and grow in life takes them to the very top they make those rag to riches stories which uh, fancy the imagination of the public and if the chart is supportive they do very very well one thing which i have also seen is that they get very successful in foreign lands so they often leave the place where they are born and they can move to a different place often a foreign country as well and they can find success there but here's the word of caution Uh, many people consider this uh, to be a good yoga and yes you have a good second half of life you have a good climax 
and uh, they often say okay fourth house rahu is a bad rahu i beg to differ because you know i think we have glamorized workaholics too much companies want that employers want that so we have created this halo around people who would kill themselves working and rahu in the tenth is perfectly capable of doing that so you know i think uh, workaholism has been glorified beyond a reasonable limit but for current date and time these are the guys who are going to do extremely well rahu will make them successful jai rahu dev